Well, where were, where was I? Yeah, it was here. That. <coughs> Yeah, this is what I was talking about. That this is this is how you know we'll get the error responses in case you were messed up with something. This is again uh, uh, request a float number, register address. This one from this one device 17. Eh, I'm not going to do that. We'll see. If floats are not discussing it because. Or maybe let me let me discuss it. Let's discuss one case of float. Function codes are these are the function codes I have implemented in the past. And uh, Indianness, yeah, Indianness. Little Indian is like uh, this is little Indian. Uh, it's better to explain it uh, in 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 a by 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 a picture. Imagine if you've got a data, you know, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 4, yeah. So if your PC was uh, <clears throat> big Indian, big Indians means uh, uh, the way I remember it is that small memory has small byte, which is least significant bit. And big memory has big significant byte, means most significant byte. So I call it little, little Indian, and, and this is Intel architecture. Yeah, and 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 uh, big Indian is like different. Is the mapping is opposite? So small memory number has big byte means more significant byte, and then and the big memory address has small significant number, which is least significant number. It sounds confusing, I understand, but then. You got to try to you know, understand it. <clears throat> Imagine <clears throat> this is the number you have and you're trying to store it inside a PC. So if your PC was a, was a big, say big Indian PC, which falls under this category, then let us address, let's, let's name the address and give them a number. So it was hex. Um, one zero zero next mm, hex one zero one one zero two one zero three so the in the little indian fashion the msb zero one has to come to opposite size means lsb has to come to the least memory number and these are the numbers so the, which is the least memory number one zero zero is the least number so zero one which is msb has to come here and then Likewise, and then subsequently, all this number will fall like that. And if your PC was a little Indian Intel architecture, this is this is how Motorola people do it, and people in Intel do it like that. So if this is the number you got to be storing, you're trying to store inside a PC, then MSB will come to MSB. So if the memory is like one double zero, one zero one, one zero two, one one zero three, like that, then the biggest number. MSB most significant byte zero one will come to most I mean biggest memory number, which is one zero three. So like that, yeah. So this is how the bytes will be stored. So but uh, it might sound confusing at driver level, yeah. But 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 once you get a hang of it, it should be fine. Yeah, it's not that difficult. Again, uh, this is this is a case I. Thought I should discuss, but uh, one more thing. One more thing. Sometimes you'll get uh, IEEE 754 float numbers to to deal with, and in that case, you, are, you need to understand how actually that works. And uh, well, just know that these days the compiler itself would have it implemented. Okay, so you just need to make sure that if you so say my C sharp or, or or the Qt C++ I do has has uh, is already IEEE 754 compliant. Means if you are doing floats, they'll be dealing floats floats in IEEE 754 format. All you need to do is to give the correct order 
okay so when you are getting a byte and if, if this is the response you know 30102 if this is a response from your plc a b c d then <clears throat> you got to be making it like b a d c because you are always getting your bigger byte first just like that so you got to be writing it like this to an indian pc because indian pc you know that has to be in this format and your uh, c sharp or your, your whatever dot nets version or, or any version of, of compiler you're using actually would, would have these numbers uh, <clears throat> ieee 754 implemented so just have this in mind that uh, this is how you'll be you'll be getting uh, numbers from your device and this is how this is how uh, and this is how this is how you got to be uh, you know making a byte and and uh, this is how you you can really you know make float out of the four bytes of data so and uh, actually most of the people do lots of mistake over here i've seen people even i used to get messed up here yeah but the problem is that it's very easy to uh, the the good thing about it once you are messed up is that you can very easily see the problem i mean if you if you if you are mixed up with this, this bytes your number would become very weird i mean it will come to be come to you are expecting a value right that pt100 is gonna give you a value of say 0 to 250 and when you are doing the conversion you got the device data four bytes and you know it's float and you started to convert it and then you'll get a number like 0 0.023 to 10 to the power minus 15 then you know that ah you are mixed up up here and then you try to rearrange the byte if you're mixed up or else the better option is that you understand how 754 uh, ieee standard works and then then it will start to make sense yeah just as a big hint then if at all you're messed this is how the numbers gonna come to you from the device and this is how you're gonna put it and this is how you're gonna in c sharp i don't have that qtc plus plus code ready here available here yet so otherwise i will share that but in c sharp yeah this is this is how you do that i mean you know, pretty easy byte one byte two like that you arrange it like that and then you there's a bit converter bit converter class static class you can call the two single function you know method over it and the byte is is this byte b and then you know it's a byte array and you you say that yeah you start converting from zero byte okay and then you get the float value converted the compiler does it for you okay so you must be thankful to to uh, what uh, Microsoft and their great software and, and C sharp compiler and Anders Halsberg's team. I mean, it's it's a great piece of software, uh, really, and it's free. I mean, the good thing is that it's 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 free. You can really use it. People also uh, ah at times uh, uh, you need to be uh, you need to be converting hex value to to integer. I mean, this is how you do it system dot globalization dot number style dot hex number <laughs> crap but yeah, i just know that it works again i mean sometimes this, these are the things you need to be knowing at times you want numbers to be represented in 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 bind in in hex format in a hex string this is what you use uh well this is what is the protocol and from now on from next video we'll try to understand i mean see how i have, how i write my drive this is this is this is this is a typical typical driver i have my right so we'll take that old case and we'll try to write uh, this is a case of function 03 reading multiple holding registers and uh, we will write a driver for it and this is how the driver would look like i mean i'm going to make a class a read analog thing analog register 